black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. I've had some eggs lying around that I've had to use. They're probably gonna go bad soon, so that means egg salad, of course. Put those there. I got some bacon here that's kind of on the cusp. So I gotta put that in there too. What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need mayo, but we'll get that later. We'll get all this stuff later. We'll just work on this stuff for right now. We have eggs to get to, so I have 10 here. And I do wanna just make the whole 10, but I don't know that this pot will be big enough. We're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit. We'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe not, but I think we can make it. Flame on as, as loud as she goes. That's how loud she goes down there. If you can see that. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna work. I think I might have to take two. Two out? Yeah, two gotta go. This bacon, bring you over here with this light. Welcome to my light. I use it like this. Anyways. So this bacon has just been sitting in here. It's not bad. It's just a few days oxidized. 340, that should be good. We'll let that go till that says ready. Mayo mustard pickle we're gonna put the bacon in there oh yes i have green onions here that i want to put in and do i want to shred some cheese into it maybe debating debating maybe not probably not get one of these guys diced up and ready for the main event of its life. And that is to be sliced and diced for the egg shelly. So with 10 eggs, I mean, it's probably gonna be Quite, quite the batch, I would say, right? So I think we can probably use quite a bit of pickle, I would say. So this new head style, I just wanted to do POV because it's just so much like, I don't have to like be setting up any cameras constantly and like moving things around and I can just go ahead and kind of move freely, capture everything just as I go, really no hassle, no interruptions, and kind of just guide you guys. This is making gurglings. Okay, once it's gurglings, I'm just gonna leave it to, with the top off now, because I don't need that spilling over while I'm focused on my prep for this. So eggs for egg salad, I find the perfect cook time is about, I like 13 minutes personally. You could go a bit less, go anywhere 11, 11 to 13. 13 gets a nice, like perfect, like quite hard, hard boil. But if you like it a little softer, just go like 11 probably. But boom, okay, so all of that, all of that. Good on that. Ragski, just a quick wipe. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. We boiling, we, we're getting there. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so green onions. Spring onion. Spring onion? I don't know, that's how they call it. These are trash. You off, you off, you guys over here, you guys off, and we slice. I love green onion or chives in egg salad. Certainly my jam. Let me know about y'all's favorite down below. Okay, eggs, take it easy. You're getting a little excited. Getting a little aggro on the boil. Might have to tend to that soon. Okay. 
here. Okay, boom. These guys in. Let's do her. So that's good. I have decided that I do want to add some cheese. I've, uh, I don't think I've ever personally grated cheese into egg salad before. And uh, it's just something that crossed my mind. I just think it could be cream, make it creamier and like kind of more delicious. So I mean, how could you go wrong with cheese really ever? Um, take this off. All right. And then OCD cheese hack wrapper back on. It's like we never even opened it. I've been living for the fine side lately. And these eggs are really testing my patience right now with their aggro energy towards me. But whatever, screw them. That'll be fine. Okay, this is a nightmare of mine too. I hate when it's so hard to get all the last little bits and then you're running the risk of the fingers. And then you have these little nuggets left and those are for snacking. Here, you can have one too. We must snack while we make our late night snack. Pure cheese bowl. Fry up the bacon. Just kind of cut them in these half strips. It just makes it easier, a little more effective. Oh, we still have some onion crisp floaties in there. I should probably take those out. No big deal, right? No big deal. And before that gets too crazy, close that up. We'll do it in two halves. Hello, gentlemen. In the meantime, let's have a bit of a knife wipe and a bit of a board wipe as well. Okay, this bacon is definitely done. Okay, onto our board. Okay, yeah, just gonna do a crunch on this. Rough chopped bacon. Oh, it's still warm and smells so good. And uh, because that's the case, and I can't help myself, you guess not. I guess not. Everybody's happy. That's just a little hot right now. I'm gonna let it just be for a moment. Okay, pull these off. All right, so here we go. Crack, smack, bottom, top, side, around, do this, and just start kind of mashing them around and make sure everywhere is cracked like that. And then you should be able to pretty much just slide it directly off with not a real whole bunch of issue. Boom, there we go. All right. I'm just intrigued to rip and zip. I wanna know what how this is gonna be for the egg Sally. Just magical. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that. No, how hot are these? No, I don't, it's whatever, I'm gonna have it all cool and chill later. I always let my egg salad cool and chill, bro, bro cool and chill, man. Okay, two more, two more. Up to the edge, watch yourself. First a dry combine. Ooh, that's looking great. You guys already know. I'ma douse this bitch in lots of mayo. Start with that. Some mustard. Not equal, just enough. Maybe some pepper. Might have been an error buying that. I'm gonna wait for salt because the bacon's so salty. I, I just I hardly doubt we'll need it, but I hardly think that we'll need it. Perfect amount of mayo right up top. 
Should be good just like that, I think. I think. Might need to be a bit creamier. Okay, let's do a taste. See where we're at. Try to see if we can get a little bite of everything in here. Oh my God. That's so good. Just a hit of salt to bring everything truly together. And that's it. I am going to mm, pop this in the fridge. Let it get cold, 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Hopper down there, don't bitch at me. It's clean, it's, there's no open meat or anything, it'll be fine. 